Hi guys, uh, Roy here from One Man and His Dog Gaming. Uh, it's just me today. Eddie, Eddie's at home because um, he can't come to work with me, unfortunately. Although, we do allow dogs in the shop, yeah, so don't worry about that one if you want to bring your doggy down sometime. So, I thought I would do you a little tour today of the shop that I work in part-time on a Saturday. Uh, it's called Console Portal. It's in Hunslet in Leeds. Uh, it's located in the Penny Hill Shopping Centre, which is attached next to a Morrison's. It's just sort of five minutes drive out of Leeds City Centre, maybe a little bit less than that. Anyway, let's um, get to it and, and give you a little tour around. We've got a great selection of modern and retro games. So we've got um, a decent amount of PS3 games in at the moment. Just show you some of those really, really quickly. Oh, just to say as well, the shop's open Monday to Saturday, and that's 9 till 5. So if you do want to come and have a look down. As I say, I'm only here um, on a Saturday afternoon usually. Uh, Steve's the owner, he's here the rest of the time. Really, really nice guy. Don't let his... Um, He's about as tall as Hagrid off Harry Potter, but don't let that put you off him. So, <laughs> so that's the PS3 games. And then we've got a load of Switch games at the moment. And not just sort of your standard popular well-known stuff like your Kirby's and your Zelda and your Mario's. We've got some sort of more niche stuff today. I'll try to show you a few, such as the Nexamon collection. So pretty cool. We've also got, randomly, Super Robot Wars, which is pretty good. And an SD Gundam game for any fans out there. And I think there was, I might have sold it though. Yeah, there was a Japanese cotton game as well. Show you the rest of them. I mean, this apparently this Doraemon one's pretty rare. And there's these down here, some Mario and Pokemon, usual suspects. So then we get to the really interesting stuff, we get to the retro. We've got, we have a massive retro at the moment. We try to just deal with complete games as well. Let me just open the door and I'll try and show you something. It can be a little bit hard seeing some of them sometimes. Dragon's Fury, awesome pinball game. You've never played it, it's brilliant and it's relatively cheap as well. As I say, um, I think these are all complete. We've got one of the most expensive games we've got at the moment is Mega Turrican. £200. Whoa! Let's go to this side Michael Jackson, Moonwalker. I mean, I like Michael Jackson, I know a lot of you. Controversial, let us not go there. Try the back again. One of my favourites, even though it's ridiculously hard. Ghouls and Ghosts. Still not completed it because I'm a big wuss. Got a bit of Sonic and Home Alone and all that lot. World of Illusion. Oh, such a great game. There you go. Brilliant in two player as well. Um, yeah, I'll show you the rest of the Mega Drive in a minute. So down here we've got um, a fair few random Virtual Boy games in. And some GBA. Go. And we've got some decent 3DS and DS stuff at the moment. Sorry, you have to keep moving the doors back and forth. Some Naruto, Barbie, which I have seen it go for more than that. That's £50 because it's a French version. Uh, there you go, a bit more Kirby. One of his better games, Planet Robobot. Always love a bit of Fire Emblem there for you. And then down here we have a nice selection of Atari Lynx games at the moment. Mainly because of me, I've, swapped, uh, I've sold a lot of these to the shop. All complete again, yeah. Little bit of Game Gear, we don't get many of those in unfortunately. Maybe that'll change. And then some SNES games and a random N64 game in there. Show you over here to the next one. Start at the bottom. Uh, yeah, some more SNES games. The um, Castlevania IV with an old price of £15 on there. It's not that price anymore, unfortunately. 
Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles game. A great condition Zelda. It's one of my favourite Zelda games, is that one. Uh, down here we have some loose... Oh, sorry, going a bit out of focus there. N64 games and some more SNES games, can't only. And then we've got a, a small but perfectly formed Vita section. So some standard stuff and some rarer stuff as well, including... Darkish, dun darkest dungeon even, can't even speak. Right, next shelf, we've got um, some very nice NES games in at the moment. Nice boxed ones. Mega Man. I mean, it's an awful cover, isn't it? I think the first cover's actually worse. We did have that in, I think we must have sold it though. Uh, over here, we're back to GBA stuff, including the random Game Boy Advance videos. Some of those are quite rare. We had quite a lot of them in. Bomberman Quest. Who knew it was so rare? And we've got, right, I have to point out this Pokemon pinball here, right? Because it's in great nick. And you see this bit here? This has a habit of being torn off. So it can, I might be wrong, but it can be hard getting a copy where it's not being torn on the front cover. This is the only one I've ever seen, really. Another Pokemon there. Po we had loads of Pokemon games, but they're hugely popular right now. Another random Game Boy Advance uh, video there. Let me show you it. That one's um, the Codename Kids Next Door. Never watched it. Right, and then back up to Mega Drive and a few Master System. We do need to get some more Master System games in. Just to say to you as well, if, you want to, if you're selling any games, we do part exchange... Or cash, obviously part exchange is better. You can uh, message us on Facebook or send me a message if you've got out and I'll pass it on. But we, we try to offer decent money and store credit for stuff. I don't want to mention any competitors, but we match or beat them usually. Well-known competitor on the high street. I'm sure you'll know one. I'm not saying the name. Uh, right, yeah, some more Mega Drive. Mickey Mania. Bit of Batman comic book stuff, slight popular, even though we're all sick of the films, allegedly. I've got a nice condition Donald in, I'm going to say this wrong, Maui, Mawo, <laughs> lad, why did I start this? That's another rare one. And then let's go over here to the GameCube section and PS2 amongst others. Let me get back here. So we've got some standard stuff. Like your Mario's and your, your Killer 7. It's just slowly rising in price. I'll put that back there or it also kill me. Pokemon's not got the memory card, unfortunately. So, yeah. Butter Classic, Resident Evil 4. The remake's pretty good as well. Scorpion King, pretty awful. Pikmin's ace, second one's better. There we go. I'll show you these last few cube as well. Chicken Little, Star Wars. And then back down here we have some more Nez. All boxed in great condition. Got some Saturn as well. We don't get many Saturn in, but we've got a decent selection at the moment. XU, which is such a great game. Just that one there with the skull. And then down here, um, Dreamcast is sort of slow at selling at the moment. I'm, I'm not sure why. Everybody seems to want um, Japanese stuff, weirdly. And uh, PS2 is really popular at the minute too. But yeah, we've got a decent selection of Dreamcast. In good nick again. Can't believe Sonic Adventure 2 is £80 ago. It's crazy. So we'll just go across, show you some more Dreamcast, including, so let me move that. We've got a sealed Dreamcast controller. And this one was made sort of over the last few years. Xeno Cider. Weird name, I know, but hey. Published by a company called Wave, who've, who've published a few games. Nice people as well, I've met them a few times. Uh, up here we've got some more Saturn. And then we start with our... Yeah, we're getting some amazing PS1 and PS2 games in at the minute. 
And this one is Shooting King. Got a bit of fighting. Got a copy of Gun Gage. Tried to. I'm not going to comment on the quality of that game. And then the PS. This is where the PS2 stuff starts now. Really, really great. Nick, these. These are oh, some of these are, are rare. Guy going generations. King of Fighters. We've got a bit of Shattered Shol Soldier. It sounds like the bloody thing is dropped off. Will it stand up? No. Right, I'll just leave that there for now. I'll sort that later. There we go, a bit of Shinobi there, and then back over here, more PS2 awesomeness, and all Star Fighters. Yeah. Hamura, another bit of a hidden gem, shoot them up. Really rare. Bit of Tenge, I don't move them now in case the stands fall off the bottom. Assault Suit Valkans, I think that one is. Just let me... Soul Divide, another decent shoot them up. Dragon Guard. A bit more. Um, yeah, I've shown you that already, Hunter. The other Contra game on the PS2, Neo Contra. And we'll just go back down here and then we'll come back to PS2 in a second. We've got some PS4 special editions in limited run stuff. Some more PS2 there, so fighting games, fighting angels I had never heard of until it came in last week. I don't know if it's any good or not, if anybody can comment on that. And then down here we've just got some random odds and ends. Pink DS, the Wine Red uh, DSi XL, which is quite nice. Decent colour Dreamcast. I better get on with it, haven't I? I've been waffling for a bit. Uh, some nice condition Nezes, obviously the Kummel Wires and a controller, and then just some random odds and ends, including a Saturn. We've got a boxed original Xbox. Some nice Game Boy colours. This one here, the black one's been modded, so it's got a colour um a light on the screen. I can't remember the name of the mod, sorry, I, I just I just work here, I don't fix stuff. And then <laughs> And then the last of the awesome PS2. We do have cheaper PS2, the standard stuff. We'll show you that shortly. That's sort of on the normal shelves of the shop. Bit of shadow arts there for you. Some more fighting. We've got a fair few metal slugs in at the minute. And a fair few uh, Neo Contras as well, by lots of things. Right, so that's there. Over here, this is the till area. Not show you much of that. I will show you this so we've got a Wii U section just here and then um, 3DS games are all here but then also these ones have just come in so these haven't been priced yet but some of these are rare and they're all in great nick. I think Sonic Wings special is rare. Chrono Trigger has shot up in price like I think it's like near £100. Castlevania is always popular um, a favourite of mine, no it's not Ring of Red, I had to laugh at that line. And Seven Sins, it is the awesome Gradius 5. It's just, sorry, the bloody shiny cover, you can't see it right. Just a great game. It's rock hard, it's brilliant. So they've just come in, they'll be out for sale on Monday. His boss is going to sort them. And then we've got, these are all sealed and new games. So you've got a mixture of PS4, Switch, PS5... Uh, some Xbox One as well. We try and get as many of the new releases as we can. So we will have a lot more in soon because obviously it's coming up to the the Christmas period. I hate to mention that word already. Uh, yeah, PS5 section's looking mighty healthy at the moment. Decent mix of stuff there for all you PS5 fans. Yeah, right, so, oh, actually, I'll show you these cabinets. We've got loads of the pot figures. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of them, but although I do have some, I've got some Prince ones randomly. And then we've got a couple of Pac-Man machines. 
Uh, some nice switches, including this um, Tears of the Kingdom one. I have this one myself. It's very nice. Nice little switch light Zelda one there as well. Sorry, someone's trying to get in the shot. We're closed. Go away. Bit of amiibo action there for all you Splatoon fans. These are really nice as well. Some Zelda Joy-Cons. These people can't seem to understand why the door's locked. There we go. Some nice limited condition items. Okay, and then just bear with me. Right, sorry about that. Back over here. We've got some more stuff in the cabinet. Got a few uh, Series X in at the moment. And some PS5s. And then some nice boxed PS1 machines. Don't know if any of you have seen the Pocket Station before. Like a weird little memory card, a bit like the Dreamcast for your muse. Uh, a Master System 2. We've also got a 32X. I must admit, I've never properly played on those with a couple of games. Project Scorpio Edition Xbox. And a nice blue limited edition PS4. I've got a really nice Spider-Man set for the PS4. It's, it's, it's lovely. I'm amazed we haven't sold it already. And then a couple of these things just over here. These are um, the Xbox 360 games are sealed. That's why they're a little bit more money. Some of the PS3 games are as well. A Marvel Avengers limited set there. With the handsome, but not in this sta this statue. I think that's Captain America. It'll look out, look out like Chris Evans. What we're playing at? Uh, some random GBA games and loose DS carts. Nice condition Nintendo sixty four box and some loose ones, and then a PS three. Sorry if you can see my shiny head in the reflection there. And then randomly. A He-Man UMD to play on the PSP. 25 quid? They're like rare? I was shocked when it came in. It's like, what? Right, bear with me. We'll just go over here. Other side at shop with some with cell phones as well. Nothing major. And then some sort of random toys and geeky merch and stuff. I'm just gonna quickly run show you these because I'm not really into this sort of thing. We've got like a million of the bloody resetty mole or whatever he is. Animal Crossing. <laughs> We've got the weirdest looking group there. I mean, I quite like him, but a lot of people think he's horrible. As in that one, not the actual character himself. Some more merchandise there. These key rings are quite popular. Right at the top, let's do here, some He-Man and Ghostbusters stuff, although, right, look, I'm an 80s kid and that is not He-Man to me, I don't know what that's about, yeah, but we're not impressed. Some more pop figures, some more pop figures, some more pop figures. Right, so now we're on, this is the Xbox One wall. So we've got Xbox One and Series X games. Just quickly go over them because I'm wary of the time. And then here, I think we have got a really decent original Xbox selection. Because I know a lot of shops only have a few, but we've got a decent amount. And then your 360 games, as I'm sure you all know, a lot of them are going up in price, including... So this came in the other day and I'm still shocked by this. £15 for Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie game. That used to be like a quid, 50p. Yeah. It's crazy. And then over here, trying not to go too fast. PS4 section. Just a random selection. PSVR stuff. Hitman. Lots of Lego games. People love them. There we go, and then down here we've got some more cabinets. So this is a PS1 cabinet, 
which I've not got the key, so I can't really open the door to show you properly. The, the, the games in this one are more of the cheaper stuff. they got Driver and Shrek and Sitting Dokes, which is awful. I had to test it the other day. Uh, Bugs Bunny is always a popular one. I mean, the, I think the most expensive, well, one of the most expensive in this bit is Yo-Yo's Puzzle Park. Which is all right. It's on the Saturn, Japanese Saturn as well, because I have it. You see so Gran Turismo is now, like, amazing, but still decent stock. So, again, we've got merchandise. So, cups, I think the boss's wife makes these. They're quite cool. A couple of random games, which I've never heard of. Jigsaw. And this one... This is like, this is a Star Wars cabinet, so just figures and key rings and stuff. And then last but not least, we've got the cheaper PS2 section. Devil May Cries. Simpsons games are always popular. At random, I mean, this came in last week. £15 for Postman Park. Who knew? And then, last of all, I wish I'd come to a different section to end on. We have Wii games. I mean, yeah, people slag off the Wii, but some good stuff on it. Resident Evil 4 again, talking about good stuff. There we go. So I'm going to show you the front of the shop so you can see, but that is our awesome... Oh, I don't, did I show you those? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Some more pop figures and random Lego. It's an Iron Man statue. So just to show you the front of the shop. Oh. There you go, and that's console portal. Thank you for watching.